Welcome to the Massage Hodge podcast. My name is Nick Paterka, a licensed massage therapist in Portland, Oregon. I am joined today by myself. There is no one else here. I am completely alone here, here, here at Massage Hodge Podge. And I haven't done an episode like this solo in quite some time. In fact, I've only ever done it one other time when I first introduced this podcast. And I thought it was important to kind of stop in here and get a little update because I haven't produced an episode in a while. And I've been away, not having gone anywhere. I'm mostly home like most of the world, but I have been getting my practice back in order and just kind of thinking about what I want out of all of this. So I think if you've subscribed and you've been listening, you you might be aware that I was attempting to record an interview with a fellow massage therapist from all 50 states. This turned out to be uh, quite an interesting and fun experiment. It was a daunting task. Uh, it turns out 50 states is a lot of states to try and get through. I'm happy to say that I made it through 25 states. That is halfway. And after I hit 25, I put the whole project on pause. I got a little burned out. If you're a, a regular podcast listener of any type, you know that a typical cadence is once a week for podcast episodes. And when I was doing the state interview, I wasn't working otherwise. So I was just recording and producing and releasing like a crazy person. So I produced those 25 episodes in about two and a half months, which was awesome. And I learned so much from so many great guests, but I just couldn't keep it up, especially as uh, we started to wade into reopening and I had decisions to make and things to consider. And I think I may pick that up at some point, I'm not going to commit to it, honestly. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what will happen, but that's kind of here what I'm, what I'm here to touch on today. As far as the Massage Hodge podcast goes, my thinking has evolved. So what do I mean by that? I guess I'm not as interested anymore in speaking about massage therapy and body work with other massage therapists and body workers. I still love that and I'm going to keep doing it. I think what will happen is the Massage Hodge podcast. I really set myself up <laughs> for some, some tongue twisters. Um, I think what will happen with the Massage Hodge podcast is that it will become more intermittent. And if you are subscribed and you want to stay subscribed, you may see an episode pop up into your feed every now and again without uh, regularity, as it were. Um, and if you don't like that and you want to unsubscribe, that's okay too. So I want to keep it around. I, I feel like there's so many great podcasts that have come up around the industry that I don't know where my voice is and what I'm contributing. So yeah, I'm the, the thinking around this is still sort of ongoing. So I guess if you want to keep diving into more about massage therapy and the, the behind the scenes and you're a body worker and you want to keep learning about that thing, I would point to you <clears throat> to a handful of other amazing podcasts that speak to many aspects of it on a level that I cannot ever hope to. Well, not ever. I shouldn't say that. Maybe I will aspire to that. But so, for example, the, the Massage Business Blueprint with Alyssa and Michael. Alyssa was at one of my guests from the 50 State series, everything you need to know about uh, setting up the business and marketing, so many great thoughts around that. 
Uh, one of my favorite new ones is uh, Massage Therapy Without Borders, uh, produced by Hewell. Cal Cates over there is the host. And just especially right now, I feel like Cal Cates and Hewell as an organization have really raised their hand as, as leaders and have really done some wonderful and thoughtful thinking around the pandemic and how to proceed and the right questions to ask. And it's just a delight to listen to. And I learn something every time there is the massage startup podcast with Victor Terrazas, who was also, Oh, Cal Cates was an ep, was a guest on this, on this podcast. So was Victor, uh, the massage startup podcast. Um, his dives into like the story behind starting a, a massage business. Uh, love some of, love all of his episodes. Honestly, all these podcasts are great. Successful body worker, with Zach Mayfield, another guest. And he speaks on a very high level about training and protecting yourself as a massage therapist. And he's a great blend of massage therapy and uh, his background in powerlifting and that kind of thing. So the Successful Body Worker podcast, there is the Massage Therapist Business and Marketing podcast. The host there is Vicky. That's out of the UK. That's, I learn something there every time. She's, her, her episodes are often her walking around the world, carrying her baby or pushing a stroller. And she's just always has a lot of great tips and thoughts and something there to learn from. Uh, the ABMP started producing a podcast. I particularly love the episodes with Ruth Warner. I'm finding it really keeps me engaged with, um, what am I, what am I thinking of? Uh, pathologies and considerations, particularly around COVID and, um, how to think about that. And one more guest that was on the podcast, Ali from the massage business mama podcast, uh, her and Becca over there host yet another amazing podcast about the business side of starting a massage business. So a massage practice. All of that to say, I subscribe to all of those. I listen to all of those <laughs> regularly <laughs> and I learn something from all of them. And I, I just, I think that this, this insulated world for me of speaking about massage to other massage therapists is something I want to expand beyond. So to that end, I've started to wrap my head around producing this new project that I've called the self care mission. And it's sort of born out of a lot of my interviews where I would always ask fellow therapists about their thinking around self-care, how they think about longevity as a therapist, so how to take care of yourself as a therapist, and then how they speak to their clients about self-care. And I think I'm going to gather up a lot of clips from previous episodes and kind of make sort of anthologies about certain topics and self-care is certainly at the top of that list. But so born out of those, some of those conversations, the self-care mission is something that I'm putting together now. I'm hoping to launch it in September and there'll be a new podcast for that and a newsletter and hopefully a community site to all sort of coalesce around this idea around showing up around showing up for yourself, around showing up for other people and taking better care of the world by betting, by taking better care of ourselves. So that's going to, obviously, I'm going to see it through the lens of soft tissue work and massage therapy, but I'm going to bring in other voices to speak about meditation and yoga and nutrition and skincare and just all the different ways in which we can think about taking care of ourselves and showing up for ourselves. And it's, it's meant to be sort of an exploration in 
um, frameworks and uh, options. I want it to be a place where you can come get ideas and then see like, oh, that might work for me. Oh, that one's not for me. And then you try things out and if they work, they, they work and they help you. And if they don't, they don't. And it might be me talking about massage therapy tools, self-massage tools or foam rolling regimens or meditation apps or just, just trying things out and sharing them with the community to say, here's some ideas. Here's what's in my toolkit right now. Here's what I'm trying to improve on. Another big reason for the self-care mission is because I've failed so many times to show up for myself. And I go through these cycles where I get really motivated and positive about eating well and exercising and meditating. And sometimes I do, I try to do all those things together at once and inevitably I reach a breaking point or some other trigger happens in my life and I drop all of the things that I know make me feel better. So the self-care mission is for myself, for sure, but it's also uh, for all of us. I, I think it's these are all really great conversations to have, and I hope that they can help you too. So coming soon, you'll hear more about the self-care mission podcast and platform and community. I'll, I'll probably be posting some of those new episodes here to start, and then I'll transition to its own home as time moves on. And I think that's, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about here in this little update. Made it through those 25 states. There's a handful of other episodes that came before that too, if you want to go through any of the archives. And the Massage Hodge podcast is still here. Massage Hodgepodge, my clinical practice in Portland, Oregon, is still here. And I'm feeling good right now, feeling energized about some new things that are happening. So thanks so much for listening today to this little mini episode update. And hopefully it won't be quite as long before the next one. And that is all I have to say today. So <laughs> I uh, hope that you are well and have a great day. <laughs>